In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for XeO2, xenon dioxide. Xenon is in group 18, it has 8 valence electrons. Oxygen is in group 16, it has 6 valence electrons, but we have the 2 oxygens, so we'll multiply this by 2. 8 plus 12, 20 valence electrons for XeO2. We'll put the least electronegative element in the center, that's xenon, which is a noble gas, so it has an electronegativity of 0. So xenon, that goes in the center, and then oxygens, we have two, one on each side. Next, we'll put electrons between atoms to form chemical bonds. Then we'll go around these outside atoms and complete their octets. At this point, we've used 16 valence electrons. We have a total of 20. So we can put electrons on the central atom, 18 and 20, complete its octet. And we've used all of our valence electrons, and we have octets for each of the atoms. So this might look like a good Lewis structure. Everything has an octet, and we use 20 valence electrons. But if we check the formal charges, and that's always a good idea with something like xenon, we'll see that oxygen has a formal charge of minus 1. This oxygen as well, minus 1. And this central xenon has a formal charge of plus 2. We'd like these to be as close to 0 as possible to be the more favorable or likely Lewis structure. So let's see what we can change to do that. If I move this pair of electrons to the center to form a double bond between the xenon and the oxygen, then this oxygen will have a formal charge of zero. So let's move the other pair over. And now it has a formal charge of zero, and the xenon in the center has a formal charge of zero. So with these formal charges all at zero, this really is the best Lewis structure for xenon dioxide, XeO2. You can see my video on formal charges in the description if you need some help calculating those. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for XeO2. Thanks for watching.